Wolf Hollow by Lauren Wilkes takes place in 1943 in a small town called Wolf Hollow in Pennsylvania. Annabelle is a very kind 12-year-old girl who befriends a World War I veteran named Toby. Toby keeps to himself, loves photography, and always carries three guns. Betty is a 14-year-old bully who demands Annabelle to bring her gifts, but she refuses, so Betty hits her with a stick, and Toby jumps in and pushes Betty into a patch of poison ivy. Betty then hates Toby, and Annabelle does not tell her parents about it. One day, Betty throws a rock trying to hit Mr. Ansel, but instead it hits Annabelle's friend Ruth in the eye, and she loses her eye. Betty and her friend Andy blame the rock incident on Toby. Betty and Andy then tie a sharp wire across a path in the woods. Henry runs into it and hurts himself badly. Annabelle then is fed up and finally tells her parents about bullying, Betty bullying her. Betty suddenly goes missing and Toby is once again blamed for it. Annabelle hides Toby in her barn and cleans him up shaves him, cuts his hair, and gives him some of her dad's clothes to wear. Toby does not look like himself anymore, so no one recognizes him. He now calls himself Jordan. In search of Betty's disappearing, Andy tells the search party that Betty was going to go to Toby's house to harm him. Annabelle realizes that Betty must have fallen into the well. Betty was trying to set his house on fire, and she must have backed up into the well and fell in. The search party goes to the well to find Betty down in it. Toby, who is known as Jordan, volunteers to go down in the well and rescue Betty. Betty is then taken to the hospital, and again she blames Toby for pushing her in the well. Betty dies a short time later due to an infection that spread all throughout her body. The search party is now looking for the murderer, Toby. Toby goes back to his old looks and leaves town to head to Ohio. Just before he reaches the border, the searchers catch him, see his guns, and believe he is going to fight them. They shoot poor old Toby to death. Annabelle's family is devastated. They buried Toby on their property, and Annabelle visits his grave each and every day for many years. For, from this whole experience, Annabelle learned to tell the truth and not keep important information hidden. If she would have told her parents about Betty being a bully right away, Toby would never have died. What are we doing?